Do you often feel misunderstood or have a hard time understanding what others are going through? Or ever wonder how certain groups of friends or people are so well connected to each other? This is where empathy comes into play. Hi, I'm C Dang and I'm here to spread self and social awareness because I believe the key for positive change. It makes us more compassionate and thoughtful towards others, creating a ripple effect that's good and lasting. All I want to do is help you live a dang good life and it all starts with you. Understanding yourself more will in return let you understand others and your surroundings. Please be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notifications when I drop a new video on Fridays. And click the like button if you find this content helpful. This is the sixth part of the Emotional Intelligence series. In the last video, we talked about reading the sitch or situational awareness and how it helps us make better decisions to prevent mistakes and accidents to happen. I've also made a video on how you can read people. Interested? You can watch it by clicking on the link right here. In this video, we are going to talk about empathy, the ability to understand the thoughts, feelings, or emotions of someone else. We often hear about the need for more empathy in the world. It couldn't be any truer today. You've probably witnessed this in one form or another in your life, whether it's friends who no longer see eye to eye, or a colleague who couldn't relate to the struggle of his team, a parent who forgot what it's like to be a teenager and a teenager who can't see how much his parents love him. It's common how most of us try to get others to understand our feelings, but how about us trying to understand others? Well, it takes effort, time, patience to understand the perspective and feelings of another person. Sadly, some people don't want to invest their time and on top of that, showing empathy ain't easy. With social media booming, a lot of people are self-absorbed who would often feel lost. It's no wonder why a huge number of students and people in the work fields are taking sick leave due to depression and anxiety. What's missing is a connectedness with another person and having that connection makes us feel alive, seen, and loved. Most might associate empathy with sadness, but empathy is also sharing joy, like someone's wedding, birthday, or a celebration. It's a sharing of one's emotions. A common mistake is when you try to share the same experiences with others, but really, empathy is to get a better understanding of the person's own perspective. So let's break it down to two types of empathy. One, understanding empathy. The ability to understand how a person feels and think, or known as perspective taking. This makes us better communicators with the complete knowledge of another person's mind. Two, sharing empathy. The ability to share the feelings of another person. This is where we would feel other people's emotional joys and pains, almost like mirroring what the other person is feeling. The benefit of it all is that it makes us feel really good because you are sharing a deeper bond with that person or group. And showing empathy often leads to compassionate actions. It reduces stress and fosters resilience trust, healing, personal growth, creativity, learning, and nourishing connection. Who wouldn't want that? There are five ways to practice empathy. One, listen. When you practice active listening, you are listening with purpose. Make eye contact and sit or stand facing the person. Try not to be on your phone or think about what's for dinner. Really listen to understand, not listen to respond. Two, open up. Empathy is a two-way street. It's about sharing vulnerabilities and an emotional connection. Opening up emotionally is an incredible, brave, and challenging thing to do, but it will deepen the relationship with the other person. But this doesn't mean you have to spill your whole life story to every person you meet. You get to decide what you want to share. Just be open to the possibility to open up. It's a freeing feeling to truly express how you feel. Three, focus your attention outwards. Pay attention to your surroundings and to the feelings, expressions, and actions of the people around you. Be mindful about how others are feeling when they interact with you. With your surroundings, notice it. Yes, really see it the sounds, smells, sight, and be present. People tend to register things unconsciously, going autopilot from one destination to the other without really seeing what's in between. Research shows by practicing 
mindfulness about your surroundings and the people around you will extend your compassion towards others and help when someone needs it. Four, do not judge others. This is probably one of the most important steps when practicing empathy and mindfulness. It can be hard to not judge someone and make snap decisions, especially when you first meet them. You can gain a deeper understanding of someone else's perspective without judging if it's good or bad. Try to overcome judgment by looking deeper at the person for ways you can empathize with what they are going through. Notice what they have in common with you. And lastly, ask them questions so you can learn about their unique story. Five, offer help. It is a great act of empathy because it shows that you're willing to take the time out of your day to do something nice for someone without asking anything in return. Helping can be as simple as holding a door. Offering help shows that you see what the person is going through and you want to make their lives easier. If someone is going through something, tell them if they need anything, they can ask you. It's your way of opening up by providing help and support. Let's see in the video. We talk about how empathy helps us have a deep connection with others by understanding the perspective and how they feel. And we touched base on five ways to show empathy, which was listening, opening up, focusing your attention outwards, do not judge others, and offer help. I would love to hear from you. Message me in the comment section below. I hope you found this video helpful. Give this video a like if you do. I will be dropping a new video every Friday, so be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get new notifications. There's a button below that says subscribe, or you can click on my photo right here. Thank you for watching. I'm C. Dang. I'll catch you next time.